What's going on guys? Alex here with 814 EDC and today I have a couple unpackagings to do for you guys. Um, so I got one coming in from Jason over at Knife Dope and I have another one coming in from Casey over at Knives Fast. Um, one of these is a lefty passer on group knife and no. I think the, actually these are both um, Apex passer on group knives. Uh, I honestly have to think sometimes because I get so many knives in from the lefty group um, that when I get in an Apex knife, I'm like, hold up, where is this from? Like, I got to remember. Um, but these are both, I'm 99.9% .9 sure from the Apex group. I will confirm before uh, my full reviews and everything like that. But like I said, one coming in from Knife Dope, which I will leave a link to down below. And another one from Casey over at Knives Fast, leave a link to down below to his channel. Um, please go check both of them out. Both great, 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 great guys. Um, unboxing knife is a Jack Wolf. Just grabbed this out of my knife case, and it is my Venom Jack. Figured I might toss this in pocket for my car to Monday. Um, happy Monday to you guys. You guys will be seeing this on Monday. I'm going to get this filmed and uploaded for you guys, but um, I love the Venom Jack. I don't I don't carry it a ton, so I, it's weird. I go in stretches of like I carry it like multiple days in a row and then sometimes you know for the next couple days I'll just like not carry it I go in waves of it um but I love this knife it is just a fantastic um slip joint Warncliff. I mean all around great great knife um and I'll never get rid of this it's kind of a little little side topic but I will never get rid of this knife because for one um I bought it on uh a trip that my now wife and I took uh, last year. It was the first like real little vacation that her and I took. Uh, we went into Vermont, Burlington, Vermont, which is like an eight hour drive from where we're at here in uh, Northwestern Pennsylvania. And we stopped in Syracuse and I went to Freight and Lot Co where I met Hope. And she is an absolutely fantastic human being. So I purchased it there. So it's kind of just, you know, uh, a memento of like the first knife shop I visited and the first kind of big trip with my now wife um, and then kind of the bigger thing is I had this in pocket when I married my wife. Um, I had it in my uh, coat pocket. So I will never, never, ever sell this. Um, I do, I, I'm considering getting a slip from Troy um, over at Northwoods Leatherworks Co. I know he has kind of switched up his stuff a little bit and he's only doing, he's either doing drops or he's doing like first come first serve to limited amounts of people. Um, and there's nothing wrong with the Jack Wolf you know, slip. It served me well. Um, it's nice and worn in quite a bit for me carrying it, but I do like Troy's custom slips and I feel like this one is definitely deserving of a custom slip, but that is the unboxing knife today. Um, we're going to open the one from Knife Dope first. And it's one of those boxes that I can never ever figure out, but I think I might have this one picked out early. So I'm, hopefully it's not going to confuse me because you guys know there are just some boxes that just really confuse the ever-living hell out of me because I just can't figure them out. Try here. All right. Try there. All right, I think I got it. Yes, there we go. All right, now this is a QSP knife. Better knife, better life. I like that um, little slogan. And this is the Capybara. Um, this is an M390 belt. Yeah, M390 belt satin blade with a hollow grind. That's really nice. Bead blast tie handle with red, white, and blue carbon fiber inlay. Um, so this is one of their premium models. Uh, I want to say it came out at the end of last year, give or take. Um, it's a newer release from them. And uh, when I saw that this was being tossed into the um group i jumped on it immediately and i uh am now getting to check it out so you get the usual qsp stickers and a little coa a um, little information sheet that's what the knife looks like you guys can see pretty cool design um, blade looks like it's three inches long with a 4.375 inch handle um yeah 7.375 inches overall and I like it because I'm a huge fan of like Nebula Fat Carbon, and that's essentially what this is. Um, and it's actually transitioned over, which you guys will see in a second, to the um, pivot collar and the thumb stud, which is awesome. So get that shoved back in here. 
stuff is blocks put back together. And here is the capybara. So you guys can see it's a full tie, not full tie, sorry, a mainly full tie um, body with this inlay slash, eh, the tie backspacer with a pivot hole. Um, it's cool how they have sort of jumping here on the second part of the, um, let's say pivot hole, lanyard hole, I'm sorry. Um, how they have the backspacer cut for the lanyard hole, but then comes down here a little bit more. That's definitely unique. Um, but you have this carbon fiber inlay on both sides. Nice milled titanium pot clip that looks like it's righty only. Um, we'll see how that carries when I get to carrying it. A frame lock. You have a flipper tab. Both pivot collars are the same nebula fat carbon or carbon fiber, as well as the thumb discs. Um, we'll try the flipper tab. Ooh, a stout little knife. A uh, little bit of blade play, but not bad. Um, ergonomically, this thing is fantastic. It's a smaller knife, uh, but this thing fits into the hands so well. You obviously have this flipper tab back down here, but it's a pretty, you know, it's a very forgiving handle. And you can obviously choke up here with that choil, which also feels really, really good. Um, nice and deep hollow grind. Smooth. So I'm not a huge fan of thumb discs. Um, I just definitely prefer a thumb, you know, uh, thumb stud. But this definitely has a nice snappy detent. Definitely has taken a little bit of me to pop that ball up out of there. Um, man, that middle finger flick just flies out of there. Nice and stiff detent on the flipper. The flipper is honestly kind of short and stocky. I wish it was a little bit more contoured or had jimping that went up around it. Um, it's definitely not super aggressive, which I would have liked to have seen a little bit more aggressive jimping when you have such a, you know, nice and snappy detent. But yeah, I really wasn't knowing, you know, I didn't really know what to expect um, with this. I kind of just saw it and I thought it was interesting. So I threw my name at it. But again, super comfortable ergos, especially choked up. I mean, this thing just melts into your hand. Um, so, and then with that hollow grind, it's going to make for a great slicer, uh, but good action. And uh, pretty much everything from QSP that I've handled has just been really high quality, nice fit and finish. Um, I couldn't tell you what this thing runs price-wise, but I will definitely, um, you know, know that for the full review. But pot clip seems very stiff. Um, looks like it only goes to about that far into the pocket, which I'm not a huge fan of. I, you know, I really wish they would have maybe, I mean, it looks good aesthetically, but from a functionality standpoint, I'm already guessing I'm not going to like this clip very much. Um, but yeah, fit and finish. Action is so snappy. Ergo is really good. Um, so Capybara, I think, is going to be a very interesting carry over the next week or so. But QSP Capybara. And then we have the package from Casey over at Knives Fast. And this is one I'm... Ex well, I'm, I've been excited for both of these. But this is one I'm really excited for because this is the first knife I've ever gotten a handle from this specific company. Um, and I am stoked about that. So here, let me show you the case that it comes in, the Severn. Um, now, if you guys are familiar with that name, you guys know that this is a Winter Blade Co. knife. Um, I don't think it's a prototype. Um, I need to confirm on that. But factor back there, which was the first knife that Winter Blade Co., I think his name's Brian Winters, I believe, um, Winter Blade Co. ever did. And he features magnets in his knife as a way of a, it's a magnetic detent system, basically. So when the knife comes down and locks, he had two magnets on each side of the blade. And then when you fire it out, it acts as a detent system. Um, now the Severn is, I want to say it has almost a like Demco shark lock type of, you know, back lock, but it also, I believe, is a crossbar lock. Um, so we're going to get into this, see if I'm correct. Rob's Nerdy Knives which is someone that um, is in the password group that obviously got this before I did. I don't think I have any of his stickers, so I'll definitely have to snag one. Um, comes wrapped up in a nice microfiber. Ooh, feels good in the hand already. Get this wrapped up. My hands are all um, 
calloused up a little bit and um, it's just dry skin, so microfibers are like catching on it. Sometimes stuff gets stuck on this dang table that I'm sitting at, or my de this desk that I'm sitting at, but close that back up. And then here is the knife, guys. So you guys can see it does have some sort of crossbar lock, and then up top here, you can see a little bit of the tab sticking up out of there. Um, it has, I don't think, I'm not sure what he's calling it, um, but it's some sort of like back lock. Nice milled titanium clip right there. Looks like you might be able to switch the thumb stud around, um, but it's a one-sided thumb stud, obviously with a hole for deployment. Um, trying to see. So I don't think he has any, it doesn't look like it has any magnets in here. Um, no, I just pulled it open, but winter, yep, winter blade. Then on this side, you just have a sterile. Um, blade I can't think right now I'm just kind of taking in the knife for what it is um, beautiful sheep's foot worn cliff style blade um, nice thin edge nice big uh, choil you can use to choke up with um, handle feels great I want to say it's titanium uh, it also might be aluminum I'm not 100% sure um, very very smooth action So one thing I am kind of looking at is no blade play at all. This thing is locked up really, really tight. You just get that drop shut. Um, so one thing I'm already noticing, which I don't love, which is just personal preference. Um, when I'm middle finger flicking this knife, because I don't have a thumb set on this side, it's only a one, one sided thumb set. When I fire it out, my pointer finger, or my uh, index finger is right on that lock bar and it's not causing it to go loose, but it feels kind of weird. Right? I feel like if I had a thumb stud, I would be up off of that, and then I'd be able to fire that way. But um, just take me, takes me a little bit of time to get used to it, probably. Try the back lock. Ooh, that's, I mean, that's cool. It's just such a small tab. You guys can see, I mean, it's, it's a small tab right there, and it's just actuating the um, access style lock. But this thing is lightweight. It's very, very comfortable. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, choked up. Very, very comfortable. Now, again, it's it's acting just like a shark lock, but it doesn't come up out of the back of the knife as much. You guys can see, I mean, that's all you have to do. So it definitely is a little bit getting used to it that way. Um, but this thing is a rad knife. Um, I'm really excited for... You know, to get this in pocket, looks like the pocket clip works really well. I love just the, you know, all DLC coated. Um, I want to say it's aluminum. The more I feel it, I think it is aluminum. But I could be wrong. I'll definitely have to check some specs on this before I do my full review for you guys. But um, really dope knife. Great materials. It's probably like M390. Um, so, yeah. But this was my unboxing of the Severn, the, sorry, the Winter Blade Co. Severn and the QSP Capybara. Get both of these in there for a little thumbnail. At least I'll try to. Do, 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 do. You guys get to see all this behind the scenes footage. Um, but yeah, we'll see how that turns out. I'll probably end up doing something else. Um, but thank you guys again so much for watching. I greatly appreciate each and every single one of you guys. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your morning, evening, day, night, whenever you're watching this. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.